Hey, it's Tammy Jersey Roberts, Functional Nutrition Counselor. This is video number two in a series on Functional Nutrition's approach to health. Let me share my screen real fast. Functional Nutrition's approach to health. Again, this is video number two. And we talked about everything is connected. In Western medicine right now, our medical system divides our bodies up into various systems. You know, we have a cardiologist, an immunologist, all these different ologists that specialize in one system of our body. Well, in functional nutrition, we do look at the systems, but we look at them as one big ecosystem and how they work together, how they're supposed to work together and what we can do to help them work together better. How one system affects the other systems. So everything is connected and it's very difficult just to look at one system and try to make tweaks and changes there. And people, you know, get medications that are for one system, but they affect and maybe sometimes even cause symptoms in other systems. Number two, we are all unique. Yes, thousands of people have the same diagnosis, but they didn't get there the same way and they're not gonna come out the same way. In functional nutrition, we work with people on a one-by-one -one personalized basis so that we can figure out and help assess and recommend what is gonna help that person the most and what we should do first. And all things matter, all the symptoms, signs, they all matter. We, they're all connected again, and we're all unique. So we do want to know about every symptom. You may not think it's related, but it could be. And that's why we want to know about that. So all things do matter. I'm going to talk more about that. So again, you remember the three roots, many branches. I use the tree analogy. So if you can imagine a tree, all the branches, these are the signs, the symptoms, the diagnosis. And this is what Western medicine and even a lot of other alternative health practitioners, this is what they focus on. They wanna shut down the symptoms. But in functional nutrition, we go to the roots of the issues and we solve it in the roots, in the soil, in the environment that those symptoms are coming up in. Because what happens a lot if you try to squelch one, system, one symptom or two or three or all the symptoms, they usually, the branches just get bigger or new branches sprout. So again, that's the three roots and many branches approach. And the three roots that we talked about are your genes. Yes, we're born with our genes, but we can influence if they express negatively or positively, digestion and inflammation. And this video is gonna be a little bit about genes and what you can do to positively or negatively affect how your genes express. So yes, sometimes we do have a genetic predisposition for certain illnesses. And again, I want to remind you that I'm not a doctor. I don't diagnose or treat any symptoms or cure anything. I'm a functional nutrition counselor. So I assess and make some recommendations and then we track and see how we're doing. So there are four areas in your genes 
that you can affect either positively or negatively. And sometimes these are the areas that have caused something to negatively express. So usually the very first thing that we look at is mindset. Oh my goodness, who do you think will get better faster? Someone who's a chronic complainer or someone who's happy? And we try to look at everything in the positive light that we don't want to own stuff if it's something that we want to let go of. We want to own that we're a whole human being that we're meant to be healthy and happy and thriving. And if our mindset is bringing us down, then we need to shift it. And sometimes that's just through some simple gratitude, some meditation, but everyone is unique. Again, we already talked about that. Everyone is unique and it's all connected. And you might think it sounds hokey pokey, but again, what I said, if someone is chronically complaining and whining and just down in the dumps all the time, you know, they're going to have a much tougher time healing and getting better than someone who's positive and has a great outlook. The second area would be environment. We look at the person's environment. What is around them? Do they live? Are they exposed to toxins and molds and all the things that are in our environment and what do they have control of in that environment? Because just the air we breathe, depending on where we live, can be loaded with toxins and they could be affecting you. They could be affecting everyone in that environment, but there are a lot of toxins and things in our environment that we do have control of. And you know, we look at everything in each person's environment to see what can be shifted and movement. Yes, it's important that we move. And I'm not recommending hard exercise for everyone. But again, this is set up for a unique individuals that depending on where you're starting from, you're not going to go to the gym and work out like a maniac because it's just going to make you worse. It's going to make you worse. The stress is going to be horrible. And it may be something gentle, like maybe some swimming, walking. You know, if you can sit in a chair and do some stretches, we start people where they are. And that is what's unique about functional nutrition that we don't just throw a pat protocol at someone, you know, and if you're older now, you're going to do different kinds of movement than you did maybe when you were 20 and you had, you know, whole different physique and everything was different then. So it just, it depends on our goals and your goals and, you know, what's going on and where you're starting from. And again, food, I did say the word nutrition, but our food can have a huge impact on our genes. And of course, all of these are connected too, because you don't want to have foods that are loaded with toxins, pesticides and herbicides and other chemicals that are on the food. But it's not always that. It could be that, you know, you're eating processed food, sugar, sodas, chemicals. And we, again, we look at where someone is starting from. So, you know, there may be someone who's on a super healthy diet, which is, I'm not going to say it's unusual, but they're on a super healthy diet, but it isn't healthy for them. They could have food sensitivities, allergies, intolerances. And so we assess, we recommend, and we track. Are there any symptoms coming up when you're eating certain foods? Do you have gluten sensitivities? And there could be a myriad of other things that, you know, it's just something that we look at. 
and we assess where you recommend and we track just because let's just say blueberries are touted as being healthy for everyone, but they're not, you know, they're not always healthy for everyone. And so it just depends on you and your unique biology and chemistry and physiology. And if, you know, you may have a reaction to them now, but say in 30, 60, 90 days, you're fine with them because we've done some things to shift what's going on in your body. And now you can tolerate blueberries and they are actually good for you. So again, I don't want to say it just depends, but everyone is unique. Everything is connected. And again, all things matter. So if you're curious about your three roots in the many branches, I encourage you to download the handout now from the Functional Nutrition Lab, Andrea Nakayama. And she provided the graphics that I used in this presentation. Go to Tammy Jersey Roberts forward slash blog, and you can download the handout for free. I really encourage you to get the handout to follow along so you can take notes and you can just keep track of what's going on with you. Thank you so much. You have a great day.